Hey guys, I just want to make this video really quick and um, read a couple of verses. And this is more stuff on easy believism here. I just kind of had this vision in my head, you know, talking in my mind. It's like one of those moments when I want to capture it, but you know, you can't really get it at that moment. But I mean, not usually. Anyways, Luke chapter 14. Verses 26 and 27. Luke chapter 14, verse 26 and 27. Jesus said, If any man come to me and hate not his father and, and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also. He just said, If any man comes to me and does not hate his mother, hate his father, hate his wife, hate his children, hate his brethren, hate his sisters, hate his own life. He cannot be my disciple. And then we continue on to uh, verse 27 in Luke chapter 14. And Jesus continues, And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. And so, uh, you know what, that's cool and all Jesus, but uh, I wasn't really too interested in being your disciple, you know. I was more interested in this being saved from hell stuff. Like, you know, having my sins forgiven. Like, yeah, I really want that. I really want my sins forgiven, but I really don't want to be your disciple. You know, uh, okay. So so thanks for those words, Jesus. I mean, that's really interesting stuff and everything, but I just, I just want salvation from hell and for my sins to be forgiven. Um, so I want to be saved from hell, but I don't want to be your disciple. And, uh, <laughs> sorry folks, but, uh, that's not possible, okay? But, here comes along an easy believism teacher. And what do they say? They say, hey, you're in luck. You want to be saved from hell and have your sins forgiven and not have to be a disciple of Jesus Christ? Well, just bow your head and pray this prayer after me. And you will be saved. Okay? <laughs> That's easy believism for you, folks. And forget the, the bow on the head and pray in the prayer. I shouldn't have even added that, okay? A lot of these easy believism, easy believism people add that, and that's just like a whole other dynamic. But they don't even have to add that, okay? They say specifically that these verses are not salvation verses. Jesus is just explaining what it means to be a servant or a disciple of him and that's only optional after salvation so you don't have to be a disciple you don't even have to want to be a disciple of jesus whatsoever you can hate the idea of being a disciple of christ and all you have to do is believe and you can be saved okay that's the belief of devils that kind of faith does not save this is a gospel worth, uh, you know, dividing over, okay? The easy believism gospel is a false gospel. I couldn't make it, you know, any more clear. We need to stand on the true gospel. When Jesus spoke words like this, and these are not easy things to accept, you must, uh, if any man comes to me and, and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters and, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Okay? Jesus has to be above everything. You have to submit to him as Lord. Otherwise, that's not saving faith. Otherwise, that's not truly coming to Christ. And if you don't truly come to Christ then you can't get the free gift of salvation. And then he said, Whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. You must be willing to die for the cause of Christ. Okay? So, these are not, hard, these are not easy things for someone to take, these words. You must hate yourself. And, and then think about this false, easy believism gospel, this gospel that all these false churches put out there. Is that what it sounds like? Does it sound like, do they ever go around telling somebody that, you know, you must hate your father and mother and hate your sister and brethren? 
Okay, these, these are strong words. Okay, of course, Jesus doesn't mean to hate, hate them, but he means that he comes above everything, but in a very strong and offensive way. Okay, this offends people. But anyways, just think about that. Think about how absurd that is when I read something like Luke 14, 27, and I say, And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciple. And then I say, that's fine. I don't want to be your disciple. I just want saved. I just want to hit, you know, I just want the ticket. I just want to hit the button. Just save me. I don't want none of that other crap. I don't want to live holy. I don't want to live for you. I don't want to follow you. I don't want none of that. You know, I come first. Me and then my family and everybody else and Jesus, you're last. But you know what? Thanks for saving me because a whole bunch of people said that I could. All I had to do was believe that I was forgiven, and I guess that I am now. Okay? That's not the gospel, folks. Okay? These people are seriously doing the work of Satan. And yes, people might get saved in spite of their false teachings. But we need to stand strong when we hear somebody saying stuff like that, that you don't have to be a disciple to be saved. Um, you know, that they're, they're somehow separate, that somehow Jesus as Lord and Jesus as Savior is separate. Okay, and, and somehow faith and repentance is separate. It's absolutely absurd. Okay, so this is serious. This is souls are at stake here. Souls are at stake. And many people are being led to believe that they are saved when they are not. And, um, you know, that's not a good thing. So, anyways. That's it. God bless.